Today we're going to be inserting a nasogastric tube on our patient, Mr. Drew Warner. Mr. Warner came in after three days of nausea and vomiting and he's in to rule out bowel obstruction. He was admitted to the telemetry unit. Um, he is going to be receiving a nasogastric tube, so I'm just going to check my orders. I have Drew Warner, medical record number. 589-135-1326 and the date of birth is correct and he has an allergy to morphine. I'm going to insert nasogastric tube to intermittent suction and notify the physician for drainage greater than 50 mils per hour and irrigate that every shift. So I'm going to take a label from my chart to verify that I have the right patient when I go into the room and then I am going to um, gather my equipment and wash my hands and I'm going to be thinking about what are my outcomes. So for Mr. Warner, because he has a rule out bowel obstruction, I'm going to insert the nasogastric tube and hopefully relieve some of his nausea because that will be suctioning some of those gastric contents out and decompress the gastric system. So the first thing that I'm going to need, and make sure I have my stethoscope, I'm going to need tape or a tube attachment device, not only to mark the nasogastric tube, but then also to attach it to the nose. I'm going to need lubricant to insert the tube. I'll need a pen light to inspect the nares and the oropharynx. I need some way to attach the tube to the gown so that it doesn't uh, move around and cause trauma to the nares. So I have a rubber band and a safety pin. I'll need an emesis basin just in case he's nauseated during the procedure, but I don't want to point that out and make him feel like he's going to throw up. I need litmus paper to verify the gastric pH once I place the tube. And then I'm going to need an irrigation kit. So I have my irrigation. I need that 60 milliliter catheter tip syringe so that I can inject air and also irrigate if necessary. And then I'm going to need my gastric Salem sump tube. And I'm going to select a 16 French, which is a very common size for our um, adult patients. In addition, I'm going to want to have either towels or a chucks pad to protect the patient's gown. I'll need my gloves. And I will also need a cup of water and a straw for him. He is allowed to swallow sips of water. They will be coming right back up when I apply suction. And then in the room, I need to make sure I have the suction canister, the um, suction apparatus, and the connecting, appropriate connecting tubing, which I've already assessed and it's, in, it's already in the room. Okay, I've knocked on the door. Good morning, Mr. Warner. I've got my things here. I've provided for privacy. I have my label. Wash my hands. Okay, Mr. Warner, can you please state your name for me? Drew Warner. And I'm checking medical record number. That matches. And your date of birth, sir? 311-1967. Okay. And do you have any allergies? Morphine. Okay. Any um, sensitivities to tape or adhesive at all? No, no, no. Okay, very good, Mr. Warner. What we're going to do today is the doctor, because of the nausea and vomiting, and I see you're very uncomfortable with that, and I can see your abdomen's distended as well. The doctor's ordered a nasogastric tube to go, it goes into your nair, down the back of your throat, and it ends up in your stomach. We're going to attach that to suction. It'll take all of that acid and extra secretions out of your stomach so that it'll help relieve the na nausea and vomiting and it will also help that distension of your stomach and hopefully um, since they think you have a bowel obstruction it may decompress and resolve spontaneously okay do you have any questions for me about that is it going to hurt no it, it it will be a little uncomfortable but we'll get through it together and i'll tell you when to expect certain things can you tell me sir if you've ever had any nasal trauma or nasal surgery no Okay, what I'm gonna do real quickly is I just wanna inspect your nares, and I'm going to see if I uh, see any, any obstruction or deviated septum. Everything looks just fine. So um, I am going to go ahead and probably use the left nair for you. Okay, I am going to get you higher up in the bed. So I'm gonna put you into a higher position. And the good news is that I'm gonna give you a little bit of sips of water so I know you haven't been having anything to eat or drink for a while now, but the sips of water may feel good on your mouth, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and get my equipment set up. I'm going to prepare my 
my split tape. And I'm going to do that by taking a length of tape and separating it and putting two little lips on it so we can easily remove it when the tube needs to come out. And I'll hold on to that. And I've got my irrigation syringe. I'm going to go ahead and cover you Just so we don't splash you or get anything on your gown. And then I'm just going to set this over here, and I'm going to have you go ahead and hold your water. Okay, when I tell you you'll be taking sips, you'll be able to do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure my tube. And I'm going to go from the tip of your nose to your earlobe down to your xiphoid process, and I'm going to mark that with another piece of tape. You can also use an indelible marker. Okay, very good. I'm going to put my lubricant, and I'm going to put the tip of the nasogastric tube in the lubricant. Okay, down my gloves. I have my litmus paper handy. Okay, sir. Now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you tilt your head back a little bit, like in a, a little bit of a sniffing position, and then I'm going to in, advance the tube towards the back of your throat. That's going to be the hard part. Once we're back there, I'm going to let you take some deep breaths and just relax a little bit, and then I'm going to have you tip your chin forward, and I'm going to give you those sips of water, and as you swallow, I'm going to advance the tube. Sounds like a lot, but I'll help you through that, okay? Okay. So, are we ready? Okay, so put your head back a little bit. Good. Okay, here we go. Excellent. Oh, you did great. That was the easy part, okay? I can see that the um, tube is in the back in the oropharynx. Now I'm going to have you tip your head forward and you can take some sips of water while we do this, okay? So go ahead and swallow. Good, swallow, good. Swallow again, good. Oh, you're doing great, okay? And I'm going to advance that all the way up to my tape or my marker on the line. Excellent, you did great. You doing okay? That's it, it's in, okay? Now we're gonna just verify placement. And actually, I like to tape it first, just in case. But you can also tape it after. But just in case your patient might pull on it by, you know, by accident or it's uncomfortable, I just like to have it. And I don't have another person holding the tube. If I had another person holding the tube, I'd check placement first. But so, so none of the stethoscope on, and I'm going to check position. Take my 60 ml syringe, 30 ml of air, attach it, unclamp it, and listen over the epigastric area. Ooh. Okay, so I hear a whooshing over the epigastric area, so it sounds like I'm in the right place. But to verify and confirm, I'm going to pull back. I have gastric contents in my syringe, and I'm going to place it on my litmus paper to verify that it is highly acidic. It should be a, a round of four. And it is turning color for acid, so I am in the right place. Now what I'm going to do, that I confirm that it's in the correct place, I'm going to attach it to the canister and the connecting tube, white to white. The blue is an air port, and we're, uh, uh, a ventilation port, so we want to make sure that that's going to be upright. And I'm going to turn on the suction to low. It's going to be the low and intermittent, so it's going to pull and release. Okay, and then I want to attach my tube. You did wonderful, sir, just wonderful. So I'm going to wrap my rubber band around my tube and then attach it to the gown. And I want to make sure that he can turn his head and not pull the tube out. You did great, Mr. Warner. Okay, how are you? And what I'm going to document 
is that I inserted a nasogastric tube into Mr. Warner's left nares. Um, that, oh, I also checked and made sure that the tube was not curling around in his mouth with my scope. Um, that he tolerated the procedure well, that I did use a 16 French NG tube, I attached it to low intermittent suction for a return of 200 milliliters of bilious secretion, that I did confirm placement by whoosh of auscultation of air over the epigastric area, and confirmed it with litmus paper that it was a highly acidic and equivalent with gastric contents. And I'll be back to check on it. Thank you.